everybody, welcome to Weight Watcher Wednesday. Today we are making crispy balsamic chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 450. Let's see if it works. There we go, it works. And the first thing you want to do is you want to cut up a pound of carrots. Now my family isn't big carrot people, so I didn't do a whole pound. But it calls for a pound. And you just want to break them up. And whatever falls on the floor, your dogs or whoever, children, get to eat them. Now there's a few steps to this, so you got to bear with me. So George, you're going to have to keep that camera on the meal. Okay. Alright, so we put our carrots in there. It calls for ground pepper and salt. As usual, I don't use salt. And then you just want to do a, a tablespoon of extra virgin island oil. Okay, and I forgot my spatula. So you just want to put your carrots and toss them in there a little bit. And what you're going to want to do after you do that is just put them in the oven and let them bake. For about 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, the next step is you want to use one cup of panko Japanese style breadcrumbs and you're going to want to put this on a bowl or a plate. I think it's going to be a messy set of plate but uh, we'll use whatever. And then what we did is I did one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. It can be any kind of mustard. And we just put some pepper in it. And we just stirred that around a little bit. So while we're doing that, then all we want to do is coat our chicken in the mustard. It doesn't have to be completely covered. And you want to scrape off some of the excess. And then you just want to dip it into your breadcrumbs just like that now you want to make sure this is coated pretty good so this is what I call finger foods right now just shake off the excess and we're using four chicken breasts and you're just going to do the same thing to the to all the chicken breast all right, the carrots are done and I just spread them around a little bit. And now we're just gonna place our chicken right on top of this. Now my chicken breasts are, are bigger than what the um, recipe calls for because my boys aren't on a diet. So it does call for one and one fourth pound of skinless boneless chicken. So we're just gonna pop this back in the oven, put it in for 20 more minutes. And then while that is cooking, you want to go on to your next step. Now the next step is to use a half a cup of balsamic vinegar, balsamic, 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 balsamic. vinaigrette. Put it in your pan and then add some pepper. And what you want to do is just cook this up. And it's kind of, um, kind of caramelized. When it starts to come to a boil, we are going to add our basil into it. Now, it does call for another herb, um, but I couldn't find it in any of the grocery stores that I went to. I'm going to have to, for future, go to the um, Bowl Food warehouse or whatever that place is called where they sell all the different kinds of um, herbs and things like that but it's argula 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 <laughs> a-r-g-u-l-a i'm not italian <laughs> so they had it i seen it at one store and i thought all right if that grocery store carries it the one by me would have to carry it <coughs> but it doesn't so like I said, once this caramelizes a little bit, gets a little thicker, we're going to add our basil to it and just stir it around for a couple minutes. And then when the chicken comes out, we're going to pour it on top. Alright, the chicken is done. And what I did is halfway through the chicken, now my chicken actually took about 20 minutes um, because they are a lot thicker. I went and took the carrots out and I put it into our sauce. 
and you just want to, like I said, make it a little uh, syrupy. So, George, I don't have a backup for dinner if you don't like this. So, we will oh. see. My honest taste tester, whether it's a keeper or not. Here we go. That could be debatable. Dun, dun, dun. Make sure you get some carrots. It is good. It is good. It doesn't look appealing. But it's very good. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, it all together, it took 30 minutes. It is a nine-pointer, people, and this is with the Point Plus. So, this is the new um, system, not the old system. So, I'm, I'll probably start doing a lot more of them because a lot of my viewers are doing uh, Points Plus now. But I do want to um, also let you know, uh, my mind's racing, so I'm sorry. This cause, you can add a salad with that, but I had salad yesterday, so we are actually adding peas with it. George, I'm moving, so. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm now, trying to I, eat. <laughs> it was good. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. A few episodes ago, I did the rice cooker, and I kept meaning to tell you guys, I had a viewer that actually asked me if you could pop popcorn in the rice cooker, so we experimented. We did one third cup of popcorn in the rice cooker for two minutes and 30 seconds, and it popped. There were some kernels left over, so we just took, um, we, like I have another person, just took out a all of the um, popped popcorn, and then I put it back in the microwave for a minute and popped all the rest of um, the popcorn. So, hey, added another thing. So not only is it a rice cooker, it's a chocolate lava cake cooker, it is a popcorn cooker, and um, I think that's all it can do right now, but you never know. So I apologize to the viewers that I didn't um, tell everybody, but, you know, it, I've been thinking about it lately. So hope you enjoy this meal. Uh, as always, it'll be listed below how to do it. It looks complicated, but it's really, really not. It's just taking a couple different steps. So enjoy the meal. And we'll see you next week.